Good day, fellow problem solvers. John East here. Well, should I say uh, Johan Westeden? Yes, that's me. So factor trees, but also highest common factor, HCF. You've seen that before, but let's see how it works. Share, like, and subscribe. Let's go. So now that we know what a prime factor is and how to use a factor tree, I want to introduce you to a new concept. And this is called the highest common factor factor. The highest common factor that is common to two or more numbers. So now I'm going to show you how to use the factor tree to, dis to establish what is the HCF or also known as the highest common factor. Let's look at two numbers. First number is uh, let's say 21. And the second number is 84. And the question is what are the highest common factors for 21 and 84? So we're going to use our factor tree now. So let's see. Prime numbers so is 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. So let's see. Can 21 be divided by 2? No. But we can divide 21 by 3. What does it become? 7. Can we take 7 further? Is 7 a prime number? It is a prime number. So that means... 21 has already been divided into its prime factors. So if we can write it down like this, we can say 21 equals 3 times 7. Now let's do the same for 84. Can 84 be divided by the smallest prime number, which is known as 2? Yes, it can. And then it becomes 42. Can 42 be divided by the smallest prime number? Yes, again, it can, which is the 2 then, and this will become 21. Can 21 be divided by 2? No, but it can be divided by 3, and the answer then becomes 7. So, 84 can be written down as follows. 3 times 7 times 2 times 2 and now we look at which numbers are the same for both 21 and 84 and you will see here 3 is common and 7 is common so the highest common factor for 21 and 84 is 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. And this will be the highest common factor. So I hope this helps you to understand how to use something as simple as a factor 3 to get to the highest common factor. So enjoy practicing some examples. 